Tao Wei, an obstetrician from Jiangsu Province, China, is performing a C-section with another five local doctors at the Manazi Memolja Hospital in Zanzibar to welcome a new life into this world. <laughs> The mother is 38 years old and already has two children. In a few minutes, her third child will come into this world. A beautiful and healthy baby. He cried so loudly when I took him out. 3.3 kilograms. The surgery was a success. The baby weighs 3.3 kilograms, with dark skin and dark eyes, half closed, in great health. So, Harry, that mother, that mother, they are ready. The big boy? Yes, the boy. The big boy. The baby. Yes. <laughs> Nearly 1,000 babies are born at Manazi Mamolja Hospital in Zanzibar annually, with 20 to 30 surgeries performed daily on average. Tao Wei joined the Chinese medical team in Tanzania and became director of obstetrics and gynaecology at Manazi Mamolja Hospital. She has performed five surgeries a day on average and often works from 9 a.m. till midnight. Whether you are helping mothers deliver their babies or performing other kinds of surgeries, the patients here are always grateful for our work. Zanzibar has a population about 1.4 million, yet it only has 12 public hospitals, and some of the hospitals are severely understaffed. The average doctor-patient ratio is 1 to 8,500. So now about her, how about her HB? Starting from the 1960s, China has been sending medical teams to Zanzibar every year. Tao Wei is a member of the 28th medical team. Ali, come here. Oh my god. New mothers often don't know how to take care of their babies. They often come to us for help and we teach them what we know. Tao Wei feels overjoyed every time she sees a new life come into this world. I feel so happy. It's hard to describe how happy I feel. So, next question. As the director of obstetrics and gynaecology, Tao Wei's work includes checking on the newborn babies and mothers to be in the wards every day. Her assistant, Ali, is always at her side when she's doing her rounds. How many unit transfusion? My name is Ali Juma, and I've been working at Manazi Moja Hospital for four years now. It's been a year since I started working with Dr. Tao at obstetrics and gynecology, and sometimes we do surgeries together, especially complicated ones. So how Ali is Tao Wei's student and has been working at the hospital for four years. Tao Wei, the more experienced between them, okay, okay. often helps him solve his problems at work. Yellow, Yabo. This one was limited because of the high blood pressure. She's known case of chronic hypertension. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. She was uh, the amenorrhea for four, four months. Four months. She already... Only we remove the bigger fabric. Today, a new patient has come to seek their help. This woman and her husband have been trying for 12 years and she still can't get pregnant. This patient was diagnosed with uterine fibroids last year and ovarian cysts, which could be one of the reasons that have caused her infertility and probably need to be removed surgically. The surgery is scheduled to happen in two days. Tao Wei decides to go to the patient's home and assess her condition a day before the surgery. The patient lives in a small village called Satika, more than 50 kilometers away from the hospital, and it takes Tao Wei two hours to get there. Hello, youngest. Hello. 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 People in Zanzibar don't pay enough attention to their health and may refuse to go to the hospital after they fall ill, which often leads to delays in treatment and sometimes even death. 
to change this situation, the Chinese medical team visits the local villages regularly and offers free medical consultation. Oh, okay, okay. Some patients can't even afford to take the bus to the hospital. So every time we go to the villages, we will take some of our medicine with us and leave it there, just in case they might need it. Tao Wei spends the whole afternoon checking on the patient and assessing her condition. And she's well prepared for tomorrow's surgery. Bye -bye. See you. The surgery begins at 10 a.m. The patient is desperate to have a baby, and we believe she's suffering from endometriosis, which can easily lead to infertility. The surgery begins, and Tao Wei opens the patient's pelvis carefully. Just when she is ready to remove the tumors from the patient's ovaries, she notices something unexpected. The patient didn't get treatment in time, and one of her fallopian tubes is blocked, which means she can't get pregnant naturally unless the blockage is removed. I realized that one of her fallopian tubes was blocked when I was trying to insert a tube in backwards. I tried to flush it open by injecting fluids in. I also tried injecting medicine into her ovaries, but it didn't work. This patient has been waiting for 12 years to be a mother. Tao Wei decides to use a special method to remove the blockage. I tried to open the fallopian tube through her abdomen. The surgery, having begun at 10 a.m., is declared a success at 12 p.m. The patient will be able to leave the hospital after a week. Her dream of being a mother is finally coming true after 12 years of waiting. In another month, the 28th Chinese medical team will return to China. Beginning in August 1964, China has altogether sent 712 medical professionals to Zanzibar. Soon, a new Chinese medical team will arrive here and continue to serve the people. <laughs>